So, again, if we're going to look at this, parentheses is everything. Let's rewrite this as 2x minus, sorry, plus a negative 1 raised to the fifth power. So we can say that the first term is 2x. Now, what have we learned in the two that we've done? The first term is always raised to the highest power. What is going to be the highest power of this expansion? 5. So we could say 2x raised to the fifth power. Second term is going to be always starting at 0. So the second term is negative 1 to the 0. Now that's the first term. We're not asking for the first term. So then we move to the second term. So now we're going to take the, again, first term here, raise it to the fourth, and take negative 1 and raise it to the first. Not asking for that either right now. Then we're going to go to, that's the second term. The third term is going to be the first term, 2x raised to the third power. And then this is going to be negative 1 squared. All right? Now again, this is to the fifth power, so we need to go back to Pascal's triangle and make sure to see what we're multiplying by. And you can see that this is going to be 1 times 5 times 10. Right? So if we're looking at this, basically what we have is 10 times 2x cubed times negative 1 squared all over 3. And now what I simply need to do is just simplify this. So 2x cubed is 2x times 2x times 2x, or really 2 cubed x times x cubed. So it's, I don't know why I got confused by right number 3. Yeah, it's just right there, right? So therefore, if that is our third term, we can simplify this to 10 times 8x cubed. Negative 1 squared is just going to be a positive 1. And therefore, we would get 10, or I'm sorry, 10 times 8 is going to be 80 x cubed. Huh? 8 is going to be 2 x cubed. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Hmm, interesting. <laughs>